We have added two new almost blank templates to the Thrive Architect WordPress plugin. Maybe you're wondering well, why would you have more than one blank page if it's blank? So let's take a look at what these pages look like and why we created them the way they are. So here I've loaded up a new page and as usual, I go to page setup and choose a landing page template. Here we have all our different design sets. And if we expand the blank set, we can see that there are now three versions. This one is the original Thrive Architect blank page, which is literally blank. And then we have blank boxed and blank styled. So let's load these to see what they are and how to use them. So I'll choose blank boxed. What we have here is this very simple content box type layout. So we have this very simple like landing page or sales page layout that just gives it a little bit of structure because of this white box on a gray background. So that's already done for you. And we have the typography set. So we've set a good, nicely readable font and all the right font sizes for your different headings. And of course, if we add some text here, if we keep writing in here, then this box expands and it turns into this kind of page. So right there, it's a tiny little bit design. It's like 1% design instead of just a white background. But more importantly, a lot of small things have already been done for you here. For example, if we look at this at different sizes, you'll see that the headline resizes and the margins on the sides are set to be mobile friendly. So as the screen shrinks further, these margins go smaller so that we're not eating up too much of that space and the text can, you know, isn't cramped into a tiny column here. So that's already done for you. And the way to use this is that either you just put all your content in this box, or if you want to get a bit more fancy with it, you can duplicate this box. So if you duplicate this box, what you can do is you can remove the spacing here. So as you can see, there's a, a 20 pixel top margin on this one, 20 pixel bottom margin on this one. If we get rid of that, then these two boxes are seamlessly together. And what that means is, let me just remove a bit of this content here. What that means is you can have a section with a different color. So if I go in here and I go to the background color and let's say I give this some kind of a green tone. And in this case, I would also go to the typography and make the text inside it white. So here we can have this highlight section inside the box. And then I would simply duplicate this one again and drag it to the bottom here. And again, I would have to remove these margins. So I'll go zero on both of these to make them sit right next to each other if that's the effect we're going for. But this way you can basically use this box as a building block and you can add a bit of visual flair to the page. But again, all the, you know, the inside padding on this box is already set. Everything is already set for you. So it's a faster way to arrive at this kind of page. And the other blank page is similar. So let's go back to choosing a template and look at the blank page styled. Here, it's a similar idea with just even less design. So this is more for a full width kind of design. And what we have is we have heading text. We have a background section that has all the settings you need. It has the right width settings. It has the right padding settings. It's mobile responsive and so on. And the way to use this is you load up this page. And if you're going to build a page with many sections, you duplicate this section here because this section is already set up for you. And if you've ever watched me build a landing page from scratch, what I've done with this page is I've basically taken the first three to four steps that I practically always do when I build a new landing page and I've just made them for you. I have set up these sections the way I almost always use them got them ready. And this is exactly, if you watch my videos, this is exactly how I start. I set up my basic section. I set up my fonts that's already done here. Then I duplicate that section and I start building my page like this. So if you think of a landing page and you break it down into sections where you say, okay, the first one is a heading section. The next one is a, a video background. The next one is, is white. The next one is a red highlight section, something like that. This is step one in building a page like that.
So there you go. These two new almost blank templates are ready for you to use right now in Thrive Architect. I've built them exactly like I said. I tried to look at the steps that I almost always do when I start a new page and I simply did them for you. So I cut out another few minutes out of your process. If you like to build your own pages from scratch, I hope you'll enjoy using these. I know I'll be using these in future landing page from scratch videos. I hope you'll enjoy this and let me know what you think by leaving a comment below. I'm Shane from Thrive Themes and I'll catch you in the next one.